Happy Apple Day! It's uh, Apple's keynote for September 1st, 2010, and boy do we got a lot of new iPods! Apple has totally redesigned every one of their, new, of their iPod lines. So the, we have a new iPod Touch, which I want to get to first because the iPod Touch is pretty much the iPhone 4, just skinny air course, and it's not a phone. But it's great because for people that can't get an iPhone 4, uh, don't want uh, to be on at t whatever, but want all the great functionality of the iPhone 4, like the HD camera for 720p video and the uh, front-facing camera, what's great about the new iPhone 4 is that it'll have all of that. You can even FaceTime now on Wi-Fi to iPhone 4 users or other iPod Touch users, which is awesome. So it's basically just using the iPod Touch as a little mini uh, webcam computer to um, you know communicate to people but that's awesome you know whether uh, for FaceTime and everything that's really cool that Apple is doing that and they have the 8 gig for 229 32 gig for 299 which is the price what the uh, iPhone 4 is and a 64 gig for 399 so that's really awesome also what they have redesigned is their new nanos now the nanos um, last Nanos I kind of liked a little better because they had a camera which wasn't an HD camera but still was cool and I liked how they looked. But now they're a square shape, well I guess it's hip to be square. And they have now a touch screen, uh, they have multi-touch and they have a 1.5 inch with 20, 240 by 240 resolution which is pretty good for being that small. And the only thing is it doesn't have a camera, so I'm guessing the pushing cameras for more of their iPod touches. But still, it's very cool, and you can get the new 8-gig um, model for $149 and 16-gig for $179, which is actually a pretty good price for that. And the Nanos are pretty cool. I'm really happy for, uh, for what they changed in their iPods is the new Shuffle. Now, the Shuffle, was the last Shuffle was so itty-bitty, uh, it, literally all you can do was just voice command but now they brought back the buttons yes I did say buttons and uh, yeah so now you can get the 2 gig one uh, which is the only one they have is for $49.99 but still uh, those are just meant for exercising they're just really the most basic iPods you can get but at least now you get the buttons now and for 2 gigs that's not that bad at all and then also Apple has updated for the new Apple TV which I'm excited about because not only did they lower the price to $99 but they're um, gonna make it more capable um, and easier to use so you can use it with Netflix, you can use it with YouTube and all your iTunes stuff, your movies, your pictures, your um, watch uh, music and it looks like it's gonna be great, it has HDMI out and I'm just really excited for it. Um, also now they got this new Apple AirTunes Play which also the iPad's gonna get that too so now you can uh, through Wi-Fi um, you can uh, control uh, things and uh, to your uh, HD TV, and I think it's really awesome. Plus, I'm really excited for the new update, the uh, uh, iOS 4.2. Um, it's going to be awesome because now not only will the iPad in November get multitasking finally and folders, but it also will have that Air Touch, and it will just have. Um, and now the iPhone 4 will be able to. Um, upload uh, HD video uh, through Wi-Fi now. I'm really excited for that because if you ever upload a video through your phone it doesn't uh, upload in HD so I'm really excited for that. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for the new iPods? For Apple TV? For the new iTunes also which will look great and also the new Game Center. So what do you guys think? Tell me in, in the comments below. 